So after the disappointment of the previous uh, Breathe Easy Ionizer, it made me remember that I'd seen another similar one. And it is indeed a Desac Breathe Easy, and it has exactly the same problems. This case was quite hard to get open, it was glued shut, and uh, all these little fins broke off the front, but it's no great deal. The circuit board is very similar to the other one, but it's been in use for quite a time. You can see quite significant discoloration at this end, where it's been tracking from the... Um, the high voltage points in the circuit board because they've actually, this is a voltage multiplier that goes up to the end and then it folds round. This time instead of using the four or five mega ohm resistors they've used two 10 mega ohm resistors and they've folded it round and they've brought it back down the middle towards the low voltage end on the same circuit board. And you can see the discoloration here and also on the front you can see where the needles have been arcing directly onto the diodes and little sort of whiskers have formed. And I have to say that when I powered this ionizer up, the output was zero. You could hear it fizzing and crackling inside, but there was nothing coming out. And it's simply because it's not that great a design. Uh, Dezac seemed to be the only company that uh, built ionizers that uh, tried to fit the... Um, the high voltage connection down on the circuit board between the uh, low voltage side of the, the multiplier. And when you've got such low current multipliers like these, um, it's interesting noting that they've uh, used higher value capacitors at the start of the multiplier, and then they've used 22 nanofarad, and then they've gone up to uh, 10 nanofarad at the far end. <laughs> but it's interesting to note that um, this is the only company I've seen that, that actually do do them like this, and it's it's caused, it, they all seem to have the same problem, that the output is virtually zero because they are just tracking inside. Shame, really, because, you know, it's all the components are there to make a decent ionizer, but it's just unfortunate that, um, that their design was maybe just a wee bit too economic in trying to fit too much onto too small a circuit board. So, uh, yes, interesting, but... Disappointing again.